Hi, in one of the previous videos, we took a look at how to build a value model using a columnar data set like this. We tried building a model that tracked sales performance across region, category, and sales rep for a period of 12 months using both budget and the forecast data. In today's video, we are going to build a similar model using data in a crosstab format like this. Now, I have region category sales rep again in three columns, but my time data is spread across 24 columns, 12 months containing the data for forecast for the year 2019, and the following 12 months containing the budget data for the year 2019. Now, the reason why we decided to have ValQ support several data formats is that, especially in organizations, if you look at sales or financial reports spanning several time periods, this is a very classic format as it's very intuitive to read. Whereas if you look at reports that are produced by, uh, or rather queries that are produced by data warehouses, they might be in the cross tab format and sometimes they might be in the columnar format. Now let's go and take a look at how to build a model using this cross tab data format. And what I did before I recorded the session is I broadened this cross tab data set by going to home and get data from the Excel file. Now, if you look at the data, it's alphabetically sorted. So I have the 12 months of forecast and the 12 months of budget. And I also have the three dimension category, region and sales rep. Now, similar to the previous exercise, we'll start off by assigning a forecast value. And as soon as you do that, the visual is gonna get activated. I'm gonna hit close. And then I would say, uh, create a simple dynamic model. Now, what I'll do is I'll start assigning all the forecast values and then I would do the same for the budget values. Now, as I start doing this, you would see that the model is going to look a little bit weird because it's going to show one node per time period because it still doesn't understand that they're all connected, but we'll fix it when we start assigning the category field. So I'll go ahead and include the forecast for all the 12 months first. And then I would go to the budget I would add the budget for the 12 months in the year 2019. And again, I don't worry about what's being rendered on the canvas so far. Now, the moment I'm done with that, I can scroll down a bit and then assign, let's say, my region to the category field. Now, okay, did not get assigned. Yeah. As soon as I assign my region here, it's going to correlate everything with the three regions and it's going to build a model dynamically on the own, very similar to the previous model. Now, in this case, we need to leave the time period empty because every value in the time period is being considered as a value or a measure. And similar to the previous example, I can also go ahead and add category and followed by my sales rep. And as soon as I do that, you will see that we have ended up building the same model that we saw the previous time. Now I can see a preview of the runtime mode and I can start doing simulations like how I did the last time. Hope you enjoyed this video. I'll keep watching out this space for more. Thank you.